Sorrow may last for the night. Joy comes in the morning. I walk by faith. Even when I cannot see. Hey. How's everybody been? Long time no see. Welcome back to Kingdom Conversations. Um, this is your girl, Kim. I know it's been a minute. It's always been a minute. Whenever I jump on here, it's always been a minute. Um, but I just really like wanted to jump on here and talk about something that's been heavy on my heart. Um, I was actually supposed to get on here like a month ago, but there's been so much stuff going on. Um, but I want to talk about... Um, this voting situation we are so mean to each other when it comes to voting i remember there was a point in time in life where people didn't even discuss who they voted for um but things have definitely changed since then like a lot has changed um i, I have so much to say about this subject I try not to let it bother me or get up under my skin, but just the name calling and the way people treat each other, it's just, it is, 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 is bothering me. Like it's just bothering me to my core. But, um, let me jump to my point. See, I was already getting ready to get in my feelings about it because we so nasty to each other. If we're not voting for one person, then we automatically voting for that person. That's not what that means. But I just want to say that we are, as you all know, we're all in a great, 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 great time of turmoil right now. Now, like more than ever, we really have to seek God's guidance, like before we go out and make these decisions, especially when it comes to choosing our leaders or whatnot. Um... When we what we don't understand is that who who we vote for is what and who you come in an agreement with. So let's go back to um scripture in the Bible. All of this everything I feel like time everything repeats itself. Everything. And we are just like Israel. Um if we take a look in the Bible at first Samuel eight, the Israelites it the Israelites asked for a king. Wanting to be like other nations, despite, you know, God's warning through Samuel, he, Samuel told them like what a king would do. You know, he told them, I'm go back and read first Samuel eight. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of like briefly go through it. But basically this passage, like it reminds us of the importance of aligning our decisions with God's will. And not just following like the ways of the world. Who we vote for reflects who and what we agree with. When we cast that vote, hey, we're we're coming into agreement with the uh, principles, the policies, and values that that person stands for. Like we got to remember that. We have to remember that. But here's the key. We don't have to make these decisions on our own, especially, oh my gosh, especially if you are a believer. In Second Chronicles 7 and 14, um, the word says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sin and heal their land. That says a lot. But why don't we want to do that? Like, well, I don't understand. If God is promising us to heal our land, if we humble ourselves, why would we not want that? And it's like we... What's the word I'm looking for? It's almost like we twisting his arm, twisting his hand, like... 
Like, you already see what's going on. Like, I think it's a lot of judgment. We already under judgment. Look at everything that's going on. It's stuff being done on purpose, but God is allowing that stuff to be done on purpose. I'm not going to go into full detail, but if you know, you know. So, I, I don't want to get on here and just start rambling, but I just want us to remember, like, before we vote... If you decide to vote, uh, let's take our time to pray. Let's fast. I, I suggest fasting anytime, but just seeking, just asking God to lead us in choosing who we should vote for, who will um, honor His values and help. And like help bring healing to our nation, healing to our land. Like we 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 gotta be intentional about aligning our choices with God's will, so that we can see His blessings flow in our land. So with that being said, stay prayerful, stay watchful, and remember that our vote does carry the weight of what we stand for i'm serious y'all we gotta get it together all right i will be back shortly i'll be uploading a lot more like i said i know it's been a little while um i've really been going through a lot a lot of challenges lately a lot of challenges but um guys been really pressing on me about getting back on here and doing more uploads so i will be back shortly um, with that being said, I love you all. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.